Okay, everybody, here is a short part two. Uh, all we're going to focus on today is what I'm doing to create the bulkheads. And bulkheads, just like where the term comes from in a ship, they're actually a divider between compartments. So, fortunately, because they're all going to be the same, no matter where I set them in the bus, I only have to make one template. describing it to the wall. It looks simple enough, but when we get down here and really look, you can see that you've got to round off the corner. The bottom of that isn't flat. You got a notch. You got tiny little notches. That's at an angle. And then you got a tiny little notch up here. So the other thing you've got to do is make sure you're still flat on the floor, otherwise the face of this won't be 90 degrees to the floor. Then, I'm able to... Sorry about the wonderful camera work, everybody. Okay. Then I've got my template for the radius. I'll be able to combine those two. Now I'll have a solid panel that perfectly fits the side of the bus. So, just to kind of give you an idea of how incredibly not flat that piece is. Again, I apologize about the camera work. I'm a carpenter, not a cameraman. Okay. When it sits on there, it looks flat, but as you can see, you've got some wonderful angles to play with. down here, it's tight all the way along here, but below this notch, there's an eighth of an inch gap. So, scrubbing that is a lot of fun, it takes a lot of patience. You basically set it up against the wall and start measuring until you get it tight. So, that's bulkhead construction. Okay, here's a shot of the two templates attached. I used one template for the radius and another one for against the wall we looked at. So all I have to do is connect these two at this specific spot and be able to trace it onto one sheet and then I've got an entire template for my bulkhead. 